Okay, so first up on the list is Utah Jazz rookie center Walker Kessler. The 22nd overall pick from Auburn is scored in double digits in eight games and has four double doubles in December, including a 12.14 rebound night in Utah's win over the Wizards last night, playing a team high 32 minutes, and he also had a career high 16 rebounds just 10 days ago in Utah's win over the Pelicans. He's also averaging 9.2 rebounds and 2.4 blocks this month, filling the hole quite nicely that was left behind in the Rudy Gobert trade. He's available in 86% of ESPN leagues. Next up is Aaron Naismith, the 14th overall pick in 2020 by the Celtics. Now on the Pacers via the Malcolm Brogdon trade over the summer, has scored in double figures five out of his last six games including scoring a career-high 23 points and grabbing a career-high 10 rebounds in the Pacers' loss against the Knicks on Wednesday. He's averaging just shy of 30 minutes a game for the last week, and he's available in 98% of ESPN leagues. And Markel Fultz, he's been playing over 28 minutes a game in December since his return from a toe injury. He had his best game of the season on Monday in Orlando's loss against Atlanta with 24 points, 9 assists, and 6 rebounds. He's taken full advantage of the injury to Jalen Suggs, and I do think he could be a key contributor moving forward if he stays healthy, but obviously that's a big if, as he's only played 20 or more games in a season once, and he's already been out with an injury, obviously, that's limited him to just 12 games this season. So I think he's definitely worth a shot, but don't be surprised if he doesn't stay healthy for the rest of the season either. He's available in 89% of ESPN leagues. So that wraps it up for me. Thanks as always for watching, and we'll see you next time.